all right guys welcome back to another video um we just finished the charge pipe video i'm about to edit that and get that done for y'all i know y'all been waiting it's been in for it's been in for like about a day so i didn't really have no one to film it so i kind of just had to explain it to y'all but um don't let's get into this maintenance video uh maintenance is important on these cars as many people know bmws you don't keep up with the maintenance it's bad it's gonna break like it's all bad you don't want to do that so in today's video we're going to change the cabin air filter we're going to change the oil and kind of give the engine bay a little clean so let's get into it i'm gonna try my best to film it for you guys oh, i'm doing it alone so let's get into this i got the cabin air filter because um i seen a lot of dust coming out of my air vents so i don't know if when i brought the car they changed it or if it just got really dirty so we're gonna go ahead and change this too i also would say this is cheaper on scp don't buy it at the auto part like it's like almost 35 dollars it was so overpriced you can probably get these for like 10 20 max for a pretty good one and yeah we're gonna go ahead and install this as well the part number for that is 4086 if you get this brand but it may be different for other brands or the oem one so yeah just make sure you do your research all right so we're gonna come down here as you can see and there's two torques nuts right here i believe if this is the same as my last one um yeah and this will come off or you know i might just let me see let me see if it just i'm gonna see if it just pulls off uh, it looks a little different than mine. This is the airbag, though. I don't know about this. Hold on. Let me get back to y'all in a second. Um, I might have to do my research on this. It looks a little different than my last car. Um, let me cut this and uh, I'll get back to the video in a second. All right, guys. Good thing I looked. Um, you just remove the T10s down there. And then you pull the bottom part of the glove box off. Um, I'm going to try to show you guys real quick, but uh, it's kind of hard. So, yeah. Let me get right back into this video. Remove this T10 and this T10 over here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's two of them. You're going to remove both of those. And it's going to drop your whole bottom of your dash. And also all this trim down here as well. Um, you're just going to want to loosen it. And then uh, it should come right off. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. And then once you remove this one and the one on the other side, um, this whole plastic piece on the bottom is going to drop down. And I'll go ahead and show you guys that in a second. So basically you can unscrew this with your hand at that point. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to remove the other one on the other side. Um, it's just a T10 bolt. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and remove the other side. All right, so here's the two T10s. Make sure not to lose these. I mean, I'm sure you could find a replacement that's similar, but not exactly the same. Uh, don't just don't lose these. Um, put them somewhere safe. I'm just gonna put them right here. And uh, yeah, let's get into the rest of this. So you're gonna remove this bottom part of the dash right here. It's there's a little groove right here. You can kind of fill it with your finger. Um, if you can't get it with your finger, I recommend using a pig tool, something like this. I mean personally that just makes it easier and then that should come down like that and it just you're just trying to pop those two clips basically and once you get this down you're gonna want to be careful because your light is actually still connected hold on this one is not budging what the heck hold on let me let me put this down real quick and uh get this out and then i'll finish explaining what i was all right, so I figured it out. It was this, it was this, like this, I guess this, in this car, there's a connection for that as well. I didn't have this in my other cars, so it's kind of new to me, at least. So this kind of just gonna hang. I mean, you could tuck it in afterwards. Um, that is, un so that's unconnected. This whole piece is off, really. Uh, next, you're gonna wanna disconnect the light right here. I'm pretty sure it just pulls it out. Let me try, let me try to get a better light. I'm pretty sure you could just you could either unclip it here. I can't do it. I can't do it with one hand. You can clip it here. Or you could just unplug it. 
Um, I kind of just leave this laying here, honestly. Uh, in my opinion, it doesn't really get in the way of taking the actual air thing out, which is going to actually be down here somewhere. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, yeah, I'm going to get into it. All right, so now that we're down here, you're going to want to grab your Torx wrench. It's gonna be a T20. <laughs> it's gonna be a T20. All right, guys. So now that we're down here, you're gonna want to get a T20. I don't know if this is my T20, to be honest. No, it is not. This is way too big. Don't uh, don't mess up like me. So this is the T20. You're gonna want to take this off right here break that it's really self-explanatory so you just want to take this one off you could probably get it with your finger at that point oh not yet so there's one here and there's one here and then there's a clip there and i believe a clip here there and there but you should just be able to pull them out once you get the bolts off honestly all right guys once you get those off um, I kind of just left this hanging. I don't know if you can take it off, but uh, the filter kind of comes right out. Um, it only goes in one way, too, so make sure you put the next one in the right way. Um, this doesn't seem... I mean, it's a little dirty, so I'm going to change it, but this honestly isn't bad. Like, I've had way worse. Like, my other one... Bro, I'm telling you, on my other car, this had mold on it, bro. We'll see that when we take it all the way out. All right, so we got the filter out. I mean, it doesn't look that bad bad it, yeah it's dirty i mean it's dirty for me that's bad like i like to change these out every once in a while but to me i've seen worse so yeah um we're gonna actually replace this and it's pretty simple it goes in the same way you kind of gotta bend it in but i mean it goes in so yeah all right guys so this is the original bmw filter um yeah i was kind of struggling with this i ain't gonna lie um, just make sure you're not a dumbass and put the filter in this way. <laughs> I was like, why isn't it going in? Because you're putting it in the wrong way. Um, yeah. And just make sure when you're putting it in, you kind of want to make sure it's bent like this way and that this arrow is facing down because that's the, that's going to help you. Well, I mean, this, this, like, uh, this logo part. It's not gonna have it on that because it's not a BMW filter, but you're gonna wanna make sure this is facing down and it's gonna go pretty much like this in how the original one was. And then you just pull the old one out. I mean, it's not too bad. And then just put everything back that you put on, like that you took off at me. Like just do everything in reverse and it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna wipe mine down because it looks pretty rough. So, yeah, I'm actually going to make this a separate video because it's, like, five minutes long. So, yeah. And then the oil will probably be a different video, too. I mean, I need to push some more videos out. So, yeah, let's, I'm going to get into it. All right, guys. So, that's going to conclude the cabin air filter video. I don't know if I'm going to post it. Um, The air, it smells a lot better, bro, and it's not pushing any dust. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to post this one. I'm using the same intro I used for the oil video that I'm about to film. But, yeah, I'm going to catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Um, I don't know if this is going to help, bro. Um, I tried. Dang, I got dirty, too. I tried. I tried my best to film it and stuff. But uh, it's honestly really tricky to film down there and put the filter in. Um, I would say just make sure you put it in the right way. Uh, and honestly, just if you have that... Uh, you have that jack down there for the charger make sure it's plugged in all the way and make sure you line it up all the way because that honestly gave me a lot of trouble and it really shouldn't have so um yeah i'll catch you guys later like comment subscribe and i'm out